بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين واللعنة الدائمة الأبدية على أعدائهم أجمعين لقيام يوم الدين إن شاء الله uh, Our plan is to give basic sessions uh, uh, about how one can read the Quran uh, recitation of the Quran al-Kareem uh, we don't aim in these sessions uh, on the vocabulary meanings whatsoever all our plan is how one can easily learn how to read the Quran so our focus will be on three things number one learning the uh, learning the alphabets Arabic alphabets uh, number two our focus will be on the signs, vowel signs, like A, O, E, and long vowel signs, short vowel, like long vowels and short vowels. In, in Arabic language, we have three vowels. Uh, th uh, three, these are short. Same vowels are long. So we can make it six vowels. Three short vowels, three long vowels. And they are very simple and basics. A, O, E. A, O, E. Long vowel, A. O E. We are going to talk about that. We are going to show you what uh, shows the uh, the vowel signs. So therefore, uh, this will be our uh, second session, and the third session will be practicing. I will give you some words, and then together we'll try to analyze the word and read it. Why is it like A O E type of thing, and why is it what what which which alphabet is. So basically, we're trying to keep it three sessions. Number one, alphabets. Number two, uh, vowels. And number three, uh, training. So today, we are going to take our first session, which is going to be about uh, uh, understanding the Arabic alphabet. So basically, I would like to uh, divide the Arabic alphabets into certain groups, uh, how they look alike. So you can divide the alphabet, uh, alphabet, Arabic alphabets based on their uh, pronunciation, how are they pronounced, and you, ca you can divide them based on how do they look, their appearance. So in this session, I'm going to divide in groups because memo memorizing 28 uh, uh, al uh, alphabet, uh, alphabets can be a little bit difficult, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them in groups uh, which are similar groups and based on that uh, it can be uh, easily uh, memorized. So we are going to see how uh, uh, the alphabets, uh, uh, these alphabets which I'm going to mention, they connect from the right hand side but from the left hand side they do not connect. So that will make uh, it easier for you to uh, un uh, when you look at these alphabets and you see there's no connection from that side it will be easier for you to understand them and recognize them. So those alphabets which do not connect from the uh, left side, uh, I'm going to write them here. <coughs> we have uh, Alif, the first alphabet. And then we have the family of Dal. Dal, which sounds like D. Alif, which sounds like A. And by the way, whenever we are going to use the vowel signs, we are going to focus on, uh, on the A sound. Like if I say Ba, Ba, Ta, A sound. Be, Ba, A, Ba, Ta, Tha. So I'm going to focus on A sound. Uh, basically, in Arabic language, we use A sound as our standard. A, A, Ba, Ta, Tha, Ja, Ha. So, uh, this alif is a sound, d is da sound, da, and then we have dal, which is uh, somehow, uh, I, I don't have any English parallel for it, and I'm not going to go to that uh, uh, phonic language, because that's a bit complicated for the beginners, but it is between dal and Z between D and Z. Dal. So there's da and they the. So like like you make a mixture out from da o, o, d and z. The, the d and z. It's not z. It's not d. It's somewhere when you mix it. It's dal dal. 
And then we have this uh, easy one, Ra, which is R, Ra, and then we have Za, and that is Z in English, somehow close to it, Z, 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 Z sound. So we have A, Da, Za, Ra, Za, 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 Za. Za. See the difference? The za. So this is like the haba went the haba. This is like uh, zahir, zahra, uh, flower, zahra, flower, zahra, Fatima is zahra, zahra, uh, and this is like the haba, the. So, and then we have this wow which is similar to W. Wa, wa. A, da, the, ra, za, wa. So these, uh, uh, these, uh, alpha, these alphabets, they do not connect from uh, left hand side. So we have right, they connect to right hand side. So if we want to connect something, they can connect to right hand side. They can connect to right hand side. But left, no. There has to be a, a gap. Left, no. There has to be a gap. So, this is one family. Uh, one family, which is uh, if the family of uh, letters which do not connect from the, uh, from the uh, left hand side. From the left hand side. Now we take another family, a family which is like boat family. Boat family. Of course this is, these are my names, uh, not a standard name. Boat, like they're like a boat. Row, row on the boat, like canoe. So they, they look like canoe, they look like a, a canoe, like a boat. Uh, we start with ba. This is like a, a B sound. Ta. This is like a T sound. Tha. Now this tha again. I, I, I don't have any, any particular pronunciation in English for this tha. Look at my tongue, tha, tha, okay? So this tha sound, um, so this tha is something like between T and S, tha. Uh, they write it TH, but it's something like T and S, tha, 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 tha. So tha, with it's it's like an S T plus S th, 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 make a mixture out of it. These are the ba ta tha, ba ta tha, three boats, uh, more boats. So we have uh, another boat type al uh, uh, alphabet. Noon. It has N sound. Ba, ta, tha, and noon. Noon is like a boat as well, boat type sound. And then we have these, a boat like with a circle in the beginning. This is fa, like an F type sound. Fa, F type sound, fa. And then we have qaf, it's like a boat as well. Qaf with two dots. So the difference between fa and, and qa, qa, it's like a crow, qa, qa, okay? And it's, it's similar to q. Similar to q. Qa, qa. So it's like a boat, qa sound. And then we have uh, the calf. Calf is like a light qa. Qa is like a little bit from throat. Ka, is from like uh, from like your your two sides. Ka, 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 ka
Ke comes, the sound comes from here, not from here. Ke. So Ke you, uh, are, is written in two forms. One is like this kind of boat. Boat. And then also it's written, when it comes at the end, it's written like this. When it comes at the end, it's written like this. This ka, ka is like K sound. Ka, K sound. Okay? Now we, uh, uh, and then there is one, uh, ya, ya. This is like a, a duck. That's the last alphabet. Last alphabet. So, it looks like a duck kind of thing. If you like put some wings here, and these are the legs, feet of the duck, duck, and you can make a beak here, so it will look like a duck. Okay, so that's why I say like a, a duck. So anyhow, this this ya is like a y sound, y sound, ya, y sound, ya, like yes, ya, ya. So these are like boat. These are like boat. Book uh, alphabets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll write, write eight here. And these were six. Six. So now, uh, so these are like uh, the eight boat family. How do they connect? It's easy. We are going to talk more about connections. But here, I'm going to just tell you what's happening. You know, like uh, uh, some animals, they have tail. So you cut the tail. You cut the tail of that animal, okay? So we are going to cut the tail of these, uh, these letters in order to connect them with other letters. So boat family, we cut the boat half uh, or cut the tail. Some of them which, which are like tub, tub type bookstaver, tub type uh, letters, we're going to make them straight. So uh, you will see how I'm doing it. So basically, they, they connect from both sides, from the left and the, from the right. So you'll cut the tail, cut the tail, cut the tail. Cut the tail and stretch it. Cut the tail, no, cut the tail, cut the tail and stretch it. The, it's like a tub, you'll make it like a canoe. You'll not make it like a, 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 a boat anymore, you'll make it like a canoe. Uh, this you'll cut the tail, you'll cut the tail and cut the head and basically, so it will be stretched also. So just to make it like this. Let me put this, how does it look like if it, it connects from the left hand side? It will be looking like this. So there'll be connection here or there'll be connection here. It will be connect from connected from both sides. So you can connect it from here, you can connect it from here, you can connect it. Also this fe. You can connect it from here, you can connect it from here. Noon, remember we cut the tail and stretch it. So it will not look like tub anymore. So also it will be connected from the left side and the right side. Fe, cut the tail and it will be connected from the left hand side and from the right hand side. Off. It will be, they will cut the tail and we'll stretch it. We'll stretch it so we can connect it from the left hand side, from the right hand side. And then calf, we'll cut the tail. And ya, we said we'll, we'll cut the head and we'll cut the tail and you can connect it from the left hand, left and the right hand side. So uh, we were, uh, we, we mentioned six alphabets. Though these are the alphabets which do not connect from the left side, but they connect from the right side, which were a, da, the, ra, za, wa. And then we were talking about the alphabets which uh, connect from the both sides, but they are from the boat family, canoe family. So you can see, ba, ta, they look like a canoe. Noon is like a, a, a deep canoe or a, a boat. Fe is like a boat or canoe. The kaf, ka, 
yaw. And then we said we are going to cut the tails and then we are going to connect them. So they connect from, from the right hand side and from the left hand side and this is how uh, they look uh, uh, on the, uh, when, when, they are, when, the, when their tails are cut and when they are um, connected. Now we come to the other family. Uh, we'll flip the chart. Let's take other family. This family I call uh, the family, remember in those days um, where the ladies, they used to wear those kind of skirts, like uh, dresses, like, like, and they wear like wire, um, some kind of frames in, underneath the, the dress, and they would like uh, be very like, uh, so I, I call that those, those lady family. Uh, alphabets because they have like d long dresses and their their underneath looks like a, a huge uh, thingy. So, so I call them uh, lady bookstaver. So like uh, let's see this uh, alphabet uh, which is uh, like those ladies which are wearing uh, big uh, frocks or dresses. So we have this jeem family. This is the the dress. The, 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 the big dress and then we have ha so this jeem is like a j j and this ha is like a not h but a kind of h from throat something something comes out from throat halwa halwa Say, if you say halwa, halwa, no. Sweet is halwa. <sighs> like you have to give a puff, then let the so H sound come. <sighs> like it comes out uh, with exhal exhaling in air. Exhaling. Ha is a light exhaling. Ha, ha, ha. So it comes out with deep exhaling. So <clears throat> exhaling H, exhaled H, like deeply exhaled H, exhaling. And then we have uh, Kha is like K and H together. Kha, K and H together, Kha. Ha, <laughs> like if somebody has some something stuck in his throat, <laughs> like that. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, just to let you see, show where the sound comes, how the sound comes. So people, when they want to just spit the sputum, they easily say, <laughs> but when they want to say ka <laughs> ka, they have problems. Khalil, <laughs> Khalil, <laughs> Khalil. Many people they have difficulty in saying Khalil, <laughs> so they say Halil, <laughs> Halil. And some of them say Khalil, Khalil. Uh, it's just spit the sputum out, sorry for that. And and that Kha will come out. It's something from that Kha. Uh, so this is Ha Kha. And then we have this uh, same kind, same looks, same looks. We have this Ain. You see this frock dress I talked about? Ladies dress, big dresses, those big, big dresses. Ein, now this is like uh, an, an R, but from deep inside the throat, Ein. So you just put like something, uh, apostrophe up, Ein. Now if you want to let somebody say Ein, you have to actually strangle him, you see? But don't strangle anybody. So the way, if somebody's saying, ah. Uh, you see, you press, you press here on the throat. So uh, when you're saying ah, again, I'll repeat it because it's one of those difficult letters uh, which are pronounced by uh, many non-Arabs. So are you looking? So look at this. I'm saying ah, you see, you press here on this line between the, between the chin and the throat. This is where you press, it will come out easily, but don't press too hard, otherwise they will take you into emergency ward and uh, they might call 911 and uh, those kind of things. So just press here 
but press in a way that ah comes out and that's it stop like that like uh, because sometimes some of the children they do like the ah ah oh, no 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 don't kill yourself okay so here you go again ah 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 like when you say ah you have to squeeze your glottis your uh, your 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 glottic uh, uh, entry of the air you have to squeeze it so ah uh, ah uh, uh, like somebody strangling you so you do because you have muscles here the muscles they squeeze on this windpipe ah uh, ah uh, like ah uh, let's see ah uh, ah uh, like it goes like narrow so it's very easy so ah uh, ah uh, this is ain so don't forget this ain so ain and then there's this rain and it's easy like it's like G and H kind of sound and it's again like those ladies those ladies which has like big dresses down rain so this is like a G and H kind of close to that sound kind of close to that sound so we have these five ladies now when they want to connect they will connect from the left hand side and from the right hand side so basically when we have to connect them we have to cut that extra dress we'll consider them like they're at home they don't need to wear those those uh, huge dresses at home you remember like as i said those huge frocks and dresses just cut them you are at home wear your pajamas so we will make them let uh, wear pajamas we we'll let them make them wear pajamas now not those those frocks we are going to cut them no need to wear those kind of dresses at home so we are going to cut this dress cut this dress cut this dress cut this dress or cut the tail cut the tail and then stretch it stretch it stretch it cut and stretch cut and stretch cut and stretch so it will become like this jim see it stretched ha kha ain rain did you see this so now it can be connected from the from the left hand side and from the right hand side from the left hand side the right hand side from the left hand side and from the right hand side from the left hand side from the right hand side from the left hand side and from the right hand side now these are how many are these these are five ladies five ladies once upon a time old ladies type five lady dress dresses or whatever you want these are my terminologies just to make uh, the things easier so basically if you can look at these jim uh, jim uh, ja hai ha remember that air exhaling uh, first take the puff come out from your your lung and then say ha 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 ha, ha. like you press your lungs and puff comes out ha like sputum ha and then this ain like you strangle yourself and rain so now uh, we have if you look at the alphabets uh, there if you look at there so uh, you can see uh, we have 4 multiply by 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 lines so how many are they 28 28 remember 28 so let's go back and see what are missing here let's see here we took six those who, which do not connect from the left hand side we took eight those which connect from both sides but boats canoes so eight and six is 14 eight and six is 14 and then we come to these five 14 plus 5 19 19 So 19, and we have 28 there. So we have uh, about uh, nine al nine alphabets missing. Let's see what are these nine alphabets. So now we will try to see uh, uh, another remaining nine alphabets. 
and will be done for today. So uh, we'll see that there are four ladies also, but their dresses are like they're like like they're like sleeping with those dresses. Okay, they're sleeping with those dresses. These ladies were standing with those dresses. Now imagine if lady wears this kind of dress and she sleeps. What will happen? And she sleeps like on edge of two tables and she allows the dress to go down. So her dress will be going all the way down. She's sleeping, her head is on one table and uh, edge of one table and her feet are on the edge of another table and her, her, her dress is now leaning down. So these like these ladies who are sleeping ladies or lying ladies uh, on the table I will say sleeping Sleeping ladies with the dress, with the dress. Remember the dress? Let's change this uh, marker, okay. Ladies, so let's write it down, sleeping. Okay, let's change this. Sleeping. Ladies with their dresses. So now I, 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 I pitch, you, have, you are with me in the picture how they. So these are like sleeping ladies. Remember, sleeping scene. Start with scene. Oh, this is her dress. See? That's her dress dangling down dangling down so this we can say is still there from the ladies so we have four these four types of sleeping ladies we have seen we have sheen seen is like s sa sheen is like sh sh then we have sod it's like s and a and this is like s e e Saw, see, this is, it, it has a hissing sound. Seen, s, hissing sound. Sawed, it doesn't have a hissing sound. Like when you say see, you say see, 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 you can hear the hiss. But when you say the guy is sad, sad, sawed, sad, there's not that much hissing sound in it. Then we have this one, which is also one of those uh, 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 letters which are easy but people they have difficult time on pronouncing it and this is like the closest we can go it's called bod bod da da bod now look at how i'm going to give you there are two ways arabs pronounce bod one is your tongue hits the hits the uh, hits the right right side of the of the of the edge between your your front teeth and your molars so it's like in that corner wala ba ba now many times when people they try to say like in quran wala ba lin so when we tell them hit your tongue on your on your right hand side so so on your right hand uh, teeth corner which is corner of the teeth and molars okay frontal teeth and back teeth the corner you hit the tongue there so what they do is and the more you go to the molar you hit the tongue to the molar the more it becomes clearer so now whenever we tell them do like this they say well we said don't do that just let your tongue go there not your face so they well no your tongue should go there so we have to hold their face like that and now say what well, he wants to put the face on the right hand. So don't, don't just your tongue. Let your tongue go that, that side. Well, a ba, ba, you look like a little bit twisted face with a French looking face, like uh, like Monsieur kind of thing. Well, a ba, well, a ba, lean, ba, ba. See how it comes out? So there are many ways. You will see it in a different way. Well, a ba, there is nothing out. My tongue was totally inside. Well, a ba, Walabba. And Iraqis, many of them, they say it like this. Walabba. Walabba. The, the tongue is out. Walabba. 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 
see the tongue is out walla and the the arabs like saudi arabia and uh, uh, qatar and all these places many of the arabs they will say walla there is no z sound there is only d d so the 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 saudis they have this d walla the Iraqis, they have this zzz zzz coming out. Don't worry about it too much. Just hit your tongue on this side and try to say it. Uh, it should not be dhal. It should not be za. Wala zalin. Wala zalin. It should not be wala zalin. Wala zalin. It should be wala zalin. Or wala zalin. Okay? Now we come back to the, the... So it is... And those people who are beginners, they can just say the, like the cat in English. This will be very close to Not The cat, the cat. So the cat, like the cat, the cat, the cat. Okay, so these are four uh, letters, ladies. Now, which are left... Uh, the five remaining. Let's see what are the... And uh -huh, I forgot to tell you about that. So we cut the tail, we cut the tail, we cut the tail, we cut the tail and stretch it. Or we cut the dress. We tell them to wear pajama. You guys are at home. You don't need to lie down uh, and with those dresses. So just, just cut this dress and stretch it. So seed will be like this. Sheen will be like this. Saad will be like this. Baad will be like this. Remember this Saad and Baad, you have to put this twitch, this notch, this small notch. This has to be there in Saad. This small notch has to be there in Baad. So basically, they connect from both sides. Seen both sides. They connect from both sides. So now we come to the remaining five uh, five verbs uh, five uh, letters remaining five letters let's see here so we have uh, we will use this pen perfect so if you can look at the chart so let's go together and see what did we what do we don't have here alif we have ba so i'm i'm going to say it with the fatha form a ba let's come here a, ba, ta, tha, ja, ha, kha, da, dha, ra, za, sa, sha, sa, ba, ta. We don't have it. Dha. We don't have this one as well. Ain. Remember the strangling one? Ghain. Fa, qa, ka. Lam. We don't have lam. La. Meme. We don't have meme. M. Ma. M. And noon. We did it. Na. Ha. We don't have it. And wa. Ya. So we don't have pa. Va. And lam. Meme. Ha. These are the five letters. Let's try to write them down here and see how they get connected. So we said pa. Va. Remember, I told you I'm not going by sequence. I'm going by how they look alike. How they look alike. So similar how they look. We kept it on the previous uh, charts. And here we are putting the last uh, one. So we have pa, va. We have, uh, we have lam. Oops, this shouldn't be there. Let's make it like this, so it looks like a lam. And then we have meme. And then we have ha. They both get connected from both sides. Pa. You don't have to do anything about it. It just gets connected from here and here. Now let's see. Pa is not a T. It's like a pa. It's like a pa. It, you have to hit the tongue above. Pa. Pa, ta, ta, in T, ta, it's, it's, it's just, just, just close to the tongue. But pa, 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 it goes up. 
So it goes to the, uh, to the up, upper uh, area of the mouth. And then va, va connects from both sides. And this is somewhere between Z and H. It is not za and it is not H. It's v, 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 v. Okay? Lam, you cut the tail and stretch it. So it becomes like this. Lam, and it is like an L. And it connects from both sides. Meme, you cut the tail and you twist it upside down. Sometimes they write it just same like this. So you can write meme like this. And you can write meme like this. But it's without any dots. It's just cut the tail. And it connects with the, uh, from this side and from that side. Both sides, it gets connected too. Okay? It get connects from the both, both sides. And then, this is like an M. And then we have the H. Remember that HA was with the exhaling HA. This is H HA, regular HA. So here we have this HA, which is a regular type HA. And HA has different ways of connection. We are going to repeat the, these uh, little bit different, different uh, connect, connecting uh, alphabets. We are going to repeat them. So HA uh, is sometimes connected like this from the beginning. But when it's in the middle, it's sometimes like this, sometimes like this. And when it's at the end, it's like this. We're going to talk about how the alphabets, they look in the beginning, they look in the middle, and they look at the end. Um, our time is over. I'm just going to quickly review whatever we said today, and we'll be done for today. So basically, uh, six plus eight, 14 and 4, 23, and then we have these 5 that makes it 28. What are these alphabetical le letters? We said the group, I'm going to review this in our le next session again quickly, but these are 6 which do not connect from the left hand side, which is A, Da, Dha, Ra, Za, Wa, and then those which are both letters, canoe type, Be, Te, The, Ba, Ta, Tha, Na, Fa, Ka, Ka, Ya. And then we have these ladies which are standing with their dresses. We said at home, you just uh, cut off your dresses and wear pajamas. You don't have to wear those frames like Ja, Ha, exhaling, Kha with the sputum, A, strangling Ain, and Gha. These are five, and then there were these uh, 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 four sleeping ladies. Sa, sha, sa, ba, sa, sha, sa, 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 ba. Wala balin, wala balin. And then we have this ta, va, like zuhur. Ta, va, it's not bad, it's zuhur. And then we have this la, and ma, and ha. And we said ha is uh, ha is uh, like it's written in different forms when it's in the middle. We're going to talk more about that. Uh, uh, inshallah, I hope you benefited. Try to repeat this session. If you, if you have kids, you want to teach them, repeat this session several times. Let them get the hang of all these uh, groups so that it will help them how to connect, uh, connect the uh, letters with each other. In our next session, we are going to talk about the vowels and the vowel signs and sounds of the Arabic alphabet. Uh, this is all for today. وآخر دعوان الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطاهرين أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من شر الشيطان اللعين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين واللعنة الدائمة الأبدية على أعدائهم أجمعين لقيام يوم الدين إن شاء الله today we are going to take lesson two and in our past lesson we just looked at the alphabets and how the alphabets they get 
cut and how they get connected from both sides. Now we are going to talk about the signs, uh, uh, vowel signs. We said that there are three vowels. Uh, short and three long vowels and basically their basic three sounds are ah, o and e ah, o and e so the short will be a ah, o short will be a ah, o e long will be a ah, o e we're going to see how we can manage this so if we come back to our uh, our chart uh, we said that we divided uh, the alphabets in families uh, upon how they look like on how they look like. So we divided into uh, the, these six uh, letters, six uh, letters which do not get connected from the left hand side. They only get connected from the right hand side. And we said we are when we are going to talk about the alphabets, we are going to talk about the A form, yani A vowel. So this is A, Da, the. This is somewhere between D and Z and Z. And then this is R, Ra. Za, wa. Then we had this boat family, and boat families ba, ta, tha, na, na, fa, ka, ka, ya. We just cut the tail and connect them. So from both sides they get connected, from the left hand side and from the right hand side. And we have to cut their tail. Some of the letters we have to cut the tail, stretch them. Like noon, we cut the tail and we stretch them. This is how it looks. Uh, and uh, then calf, we have to cut the tail and stretch them. And calf, cut the tail. Calf at the end, it's written like this. In the beginning and in the middle, it's written like this. And then ya, yeah, we said it's like a duck. So we cut the head, we cut the tail, and we stretch the stomach of the duck or the uh, thorax of the duck. So this is like the uh, ya. Yeah. The ya uh, becomes like that. Then we, start, uh, we, we, we we spoke about those ladies which are wearing those very um, uh, open dresses, like uh, those big, big dresses, like in old days. And we said that uh, they put some frame underneath it so it supports that fluffiness or that uh, uh, hollowness, uh, hollowness of the dress. So that hollow dress ladies, these are like five uh, letters. These ladies, they are standing. And then what did we see? say? We cut the tail and we stretch. So we cut the dress and we uh, tell them to wear pajamas straight forward. So it is like ja, uh, <clears> ha, <throat> we said this halwa ha, like exhaling hay, h, exhaled h. And then we have kha, like a sputum kha, somebody sputing like kind of kha, kind of sound. And then we have the strangling ain, when we said this ain, uh, we just like, uh, uh, put uh, put our uh, uh, our finger on the throat like this. Uh, uh, uh. So in this corner, when you press the finger, ain sound comes. And then we have this re. Uh, one more thing, ain in the middle, it is written like this. It's like a triangle, upside down triangle. And rain also is written like that, upside down triangle when it's in the middle. Then we uh, uh, started to talk about those sleeping ladies. Like uh, um, the, they are sleeping on, uh, one head is on a, a, ta a table's edge, their legs are on the table's edge, and their dress is like that hollowness of the dress is lying dangling down. So we said we are going to uh, cut, the, cut the dress and stretch them, like straight, tell them to wear pajamas, you don't need to sleep with those heavy dresses. So. Uh, cut the dress and stretch. So this is how it will look like. Uh, this is sa, sha, sa, ba. Va, we said it could be ba, it could be va. Some uh, people they pronounce it va, some people they pronounce it, pronounce it ba. And so, but the, the, when you write the sa and ba, you cut the tail, but this twitch, this, this, uh, this, uh, this thing is, is this portrayed, portrayal is up. So we have to keep this sod and the, we, we, we cannot cut uh, the entire sod. Just we cut the tail so this, this notch is remaining. So these are four. And then we spoke about the, uh, re, uh, the remaining uh, letters, uh, which are uh, um, uh, like, uh, which complete to 28 uh, letters. So we have pa, it's not t, 
it's like we said pa hitting up va it is like z and h sometimes of blended sound between z za va va so it is not correct but th th there is a kind of uh, like uh, sound comes like vohor 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 um, and then we have this uh, lam lam we cut the tail and stretch it meme mm. so this is pa va la ma and this is the regular ha ha and ha ha is written this is how it's written in the beginning this is how it's written in the middle these are two forms and then we have this at the end it is written like this uh, before we carry on i just want to uh, mention uh, there are some similar letters we had mentioned just a kind of notice because many people they get mixed up in the pronunciation of these letters <clears throat> so we have zal and then we have uh, ze and then we have uh, bad and then we have va vahor so this is the, the, the is like Vahaba. Uh, this is like uh, uh, Zuhair, the name. Zuhair. And this is Zuhair. And this is Bad, like Walabalin. I know you don't know what is written here, but I'm just trying to put these words. Because the main, um, the main thing here is I want to, you to distinguish between their pronunciation. And this is Vohor. So look at my tongue now, how I will pronounce these, uh, these, elf, uh, these uh, letters. Vahaba. See, Th the tongue is all the way out and the, under the teeth. Th Vahaba. I'm sorry about showing you guys my tongue, but uh, just to let you get the hang of the pronunciation. Vahaba. The tongue is all the way out. Z. Tongue is not out. Z. That's Z. Zebra. Okay. Z. The tongue is not out. Z. But it is, it is attached to the upper teeth. And then Va. Remember that, people? Uh, we are teaching them va, they turn, well, the, the tongue needs to hit the right hand molar or the right hand uh, area of the mouth. Va, va, well, va, lean. So people, they, they try to uh, turn their face when they are learning. Well, va, lean. We say, oh, your salat will be invalid because you cannot move your head left and right. Well, va, lean. Your salat is invalid. So therefore, uh, you have to keep straight and try to put the trunk. Now, if you cannot put it like pure Arabs all the way there, try. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem. So, wala valin, wala valin. The wala. So we said there are two. One there's Z sound, and one there's no Z sound in it. Like wala ba ba wala ba. On this corner, the, the teeth is going in this corner. But if you can go back, it will be much better. Well, a ballin. So the teeth, the, there's no Z sound in this. This is like the uh, Saudi Arabia and those region uh, pronunciation and others. And then Iraqis and some others, uh, they pronounce it with a Z sound, with a hissing sound. Well, a v, v, well, a ballin. Well, a ballin. So still the tongue is there but it is under the teeth, under the teeth. This one hits the teeth up. It hits, the, there's no Z sound. Z sound comes when the tongue goes under the, under the teeth. So just practice, you'll get it. And we said it is like, a, a, if you want to say that uh, Arab style, so it's like a, the, the cat, the, the cat. And then v, vuhur is also the tongue is out. Vuhur, vuhur, vahaba, vahaba, vuhur. So if we want to distinguish between the, vahaba, vuhur, vuhur is the tongue is much further out than vahaba. See, 
just I'll pronounce both things and just focus on my tongue. Zahaba. A bit of tongue is out. Zahaba. Zahaba. This one, zhor, zhor. Of course, you when you get used to it, you will not keep uh, uh, like people that, oh, you guys are cursing us, or why are you taking the, your tongues out and like that. But you get the hang of it, your tongue will not come out that. Like, like let me now say how I say it regularly. Zhor, zhor. I did not say like uh, I, I took all the way tongue out. But it is already out, but it's just a moment, a, a second. Zhor, 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 zhor. Zahaba, 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 al-zahar, zahaba. You see, zahaba, little bit tongue out, zahar, uh, more tongue out. Ba, hitting this side, z is a regular z with the, the tongue all the way inside and the, uh, the doors are closed, z, like uh, doing advertisement of uh, a tooth paste or something like that, z, like that. So the tongue is, there's no, nothing so number one and number four the tongue comes out number one the tongues come out slightly if i say like this so tongue is i think this is the tongue if i make a, a mouth like this And there is his nose and moustache. So now this can be his tongue. It looks like a monster, but uh, don't worry about it. And then I'll make the teeth with another color, green, so that uh... see. So this is the teeth, green, and uh, so. The tongue is a little bit out, uh, and the, the, it's under the teeth. So frontal teeth, frontal teeth, the scissors, scissors. Uh, so now Zohair, let me try to see if I can make Zohair. Yeah, this is quite... Uh, The tongue is behind the teeth. So we close the with the teeth. So the tongue is behind. And this will be complicated to draw as it is a small little bit complicated to, uh, to pronounce. But this will be e easy. Vahor. We said the tongue is further out. Of course you will not do like that, but uh, uh, it's just like uh, a drawing says that this, this tongue the, the is a bit out and uh, Zohar is uh, like if you want to say same vo uh, uh, vowel letter, I can put Vahara, uh, not Zohar, Vahara, like appeared. Zahaba, Vahara. Look again, I'll say. Zahaba, little bit out. Zahaba, Vahara. The 12th Imam appeared. Vahara. Somebody appeared. Vahara, Vahara. The tongue is out, quite out. So here we have this tongue is quite out uh, and the, under the teeth. And the lean, obviously, it's hitting the, the right. You can also check on uh, uh, internet, but some, some of the pronunciations are on the internet are not right. So, uh, this is uh, a bit about the letters. Uh, at this point, we'll try to now uh, talk about, because people, they get confused in these four letters. Uh, that's why we thought that it will be nice to have them. Now we uh, talk about the vowel sign.